This tutorial explains how to apply the pivot longer and pivot wider functions to reshape our data frames to long and wide format using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, you can see a new window that is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains 12 rows and four columns whereby the first and second columns are ID columns, which are called ID1 and ID2. And the third and fourth columns are called X and Y and contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to convert this data set, which is currently in wide format to long format using the pivot longer function. Then we first need to install and load the tidy R package, as you can see in lines seven and eight. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the tidy R package, such as pivot longer and pivot wider. So in lines 10 and 11 of the code, I'm applying the pivot longer function to convert our data set to long format. And within the pivot longer function, we first need to specify the name of our data set. So in this case, our data set is called data. And then we also need to specify the column names of those columns that contain our values. So in this case, these columns are called X and Y. So if you run lines 10 and 11 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that another data set is appearing, which is called data long. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have converted our data frame into a data set with longer format, because this time you can still see our ID columns, ID1 and ID2. However, then you can see a name column, which is containing the variable names of the two variables containing our values. So in this case, the data cells of this column are called X and Y. And then we have another column, which is showing the values corresponding to these variables. So as you have seen with the pivot longer function, we were able to convert our data frame from wide to long format. However, it's also possible to use the functions of the tidy R package to convert data frame in long format back to wide format. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in line 13 of the code. So in this example, I'm using the pivot wider function. And in this case, I'm converting the data frame that we have created in the first example, which is called data long, back to wide format. So all we have to do within the pivot wider function is that we need to set the data argument to be equal to our data set in long format. So in this case, this data set is called data long. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data set, which is called data wide. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data wide. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that this data frame is showing our data in wide format, because this time the two variables X and Y are shown as columns and not within a name column. So in other words, this new data set data wide is containing exactly the same values as our input data frame that we have created in the beginning of this tutorial. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.